God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. Now we have received, not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. The Most High set up the way he wanted his people to worship and serve him. The Most High selected a specific family clan to represent him to the rest of the world. Today in the B system, there are heathens from all nations operating churches that supposedly serve the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. None of these church operations correspond with the way the Most High command of his people. The reason the church culture do not represent the most high in the B system, Satan has imitated everything the most high has done and prophesied to do to deceive the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. The tale series on this channel dive deep into the root of the manipulations to expose the deceptions. So far you have learned there are two messiahs. The Elohim of Israel is not being worshipped in the New Testament, but the false messiah who is Satan in disguise is being worshipped. The tale series has exposed many hidden secrets of the kingdom of darkness. The time has come for the people of the Most High to understand the Holy Spirit and how the Spirit of the Most High operates. It is important that the Israelites know the Holy Spirit because it is the Spirit of the Most High that guides you and does so much more in your everyday life. So many people have asked me about my relationship with the Most High. Some people question how I know the things that I share with you. My answer, the Spirit of the Most High. I follow the instructions given to me by the Holy Spirit and I listen to the Holy Spirit. Some people ask, how I know that the Holy Spirit is speaking to me. The scripture said, my sheep knows my voice and they follow me. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. The scriptures went on to say that the strange voices speaking, his people will not recognize nor follow, but flee from the strange voices. And stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him. For they know not the voice of strangers. Too many Israelites fear that they do not recognize the voice of the Most High, and because they do not recognize his voice, they deem themselves unworthy. To the Israelites that feel this way about yourselves, you must cast down those wicked thoughts. These negative thoughts do not come from the Most High, but from the kingdom of darkness. You must learn to cast down the evil imaginations and wicked voices that rise against the word of the Most High. Obey every thought that correspond with the word and laws of the Most High. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Israelites, it is important that you cast down the instructions from the negative voices that speaks to you. Israelites, if you can differentiate the voice of the Most High from the many voices that speaks to you daily, so many indigenous black people would be in a better place in their lives. In addition, the kingdom of darkness will not be able to deceive you. I will reveal to you everything the voice or the Holy Spirit of the Most High does not do. The voice of the Most High via his spirit do not encourage you to sin. Sin is breaking the laws of the Most High. The voice of the Most High is not double-minded. The scriptures made it known that a double-minded person is unstable in everything that he or she does. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. If you don't know what to do and you keep going back and forth with a decision, know that the kingdom of darkness is controlling your thoughts at that moment. 
As soon as you recognize the invasion, you must cast down the evil imaginations. When you hear stories in the news of people committing horrific crimes, once the evil spirit that was controlling their thoughts leave the person, the individual confessed that they heard voices telling him or her to do it. The person is telling the truth. The individual decided to listen to the evil voices speaking and obeyed the voices of the unclean spirits talking. If the person who committed the crime was of the Most High, he or she would have flee from the wicked thoughts, just as the scripture said, my sheep do not listen to the stranger's voice. Remember, Satan imitates everything the Most High does. There are many voices speaking to you daily. Nobody is excluded from these attacks. If you belong to the Most High, Yah will give you the power over these wicked voices misleading you. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. The voice of the Most High is not confusion. When the Most High speak, he is straight to the point. There is no confusion. If you're confused, know that it is the spirit of confusion that is influencing you to stop you from accomplishing what you were supposed to do. The scripture said the Most High is not the author of confusion. But God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. The voice of the Most High via his spirit does not bombard your mind. To hear the voice of the Most High, your mind must be free from the worries of life. The scriptures made it known that the voice of the Most High is gentle and quiet. The scriptures describe the voice of the Most High as a still, small voice. If your mind is preoccupied, you will not hear the voice of the Most High. The kingdom of darkness is aware of this. That is why unclean spirits bombard your mind with all kinds of negativity to prevent you from hearing the voice of the Most High. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire, and after the fire, a still, small voice. And it was so, when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle, and went out, and stood in the entering in of the cave, and behold, there came a voice unto him, and said, What doest thou here, Elijah? The people of the Most High know the voice of their Elohim. However, because they're not used to interacting with the Holy Spirit, they do not trust the Holy Spirit when it speaks to them. Many Israelites and indigenous black people interact more with unclean spirits. Because of religion, many Israelites and indigenous black people were deceived to believe they were interacting with the spirit of the Most High. The church culture and the beast system do not worship nor serve the Elohim of Israel. Every altar in the churches are built to the false Messiah and not to the Most High. The altars in the church are evil altars. That is why the indigenous black people perish in the church versus being delivered. The scriptures made it known that the things which the heathens sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to the Most High. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. The Israelites and indigenous black people who seek the beast systems, church culture for deliverance, will find themselves in bondage. The church do not follow the commands nor the traditions the Most High set for his house. Israelites, it is important that you understand the church imitates the Most High, but they do not follow the Most High. Our ancestors did not attend church. The scriptures reveal that the disciples fellowship in their neighbor's house. Yahshua did not have a place to sleep according to the scriptures. Yahshua and the disciples relied on their brethren to host them. And Jesus saith unto him, Foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. When Yahshua sent his disciples to the people, he instruct them to take nothing with them. If their brethren did not receive them, they should move on to the next city. And he said unto them, Take nothing for your journey, neither staves nor scrip, neither bread, neither money, neither have two coats apiece. And whatsoever house ye enter into, there abide. 
and thence depart. And whosoever will not receive you when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. Today, the pastors and religious leaders need private jets to travel. They need mega mansions to lay their heads. Does the fruits the pastors in religion produce reveal they are of the Most High? When the Most High sent the Holy Spirit, the disciples did not gather in a church to receive the Holy Spirit. The scriptures reveal they all gathered in a room. And when they would come in, they went up into an upper room where abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus and Simon Zealots and Judas the brother of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary the mother of Jesus and with his brethren. It was not until the other species of mankind came with their polluted doctrines and forced our people to convert to paganism via religion. That is when our people started to attend church. Organized religion in the beast system follow their own traditions. They do not follow the most high. Anyone looking for the most high will not find him in the church. The most high had one temple that he accepted. The house the Most High instructed his people, the Israelites, to build is the only sanctuary. Once the temple was destroyed, the Most High did not instruct his people to build another. The scripture said the Most High will not live in houses built by man's hands. The numerous churches that are built all over the world are buildings built by man's hands. You will not find the Most High living there. Albeit, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. I say it, the prophet. The Most High did not accept the church buildings you see all over the world. That is why the churches are weak. Everyone who seek the church for refuge are destroyed. If the Most High do not accept these so-called churches, why do you? The Israelites no longer have their temple with the Levites to maintain the house of the Most High. The Most High's temple was destroyed and the people of the Most High are scattered. We no longer have the Levites dwelling among us in assigned communities like our ancestors were privileged to have. The scriptures reveal to us that the Levites were chosen by the Most High to facilitate all the affairs in the house of the Most High. Because of their role, the Levites had no land inheritance. The Levites live in a small community among all the tribes. Command the children of Israel that they give unto the Levites of the inheritance of their possession cities to dwell in. And ye shall give also unto the Levites suburbs for the cities round about them. Now that the Levites and the entire nation of the Israelites are scattered, the so-called churches are an abomination. The Most High did not appoint the other species of mankind, the indigenous heathens, or the Israelites from the other tribes to facilitate anything in his house. The Most High chose the Levites and did everything through the Levites concerning his house. Today, the church operate via high-level workers of iniquity who use familiar spirits to deceive the people. How does the church serve the Most High when they do nothing according to his will? We are living in a generation of Israelites who are now getting familiar with their culture. The Israelites are now coming to the realization of who they are. The Most High is revealing truth via the Holy Spirit. So many things have been concealed. The Most High is lifting the veil from his people's eyes so that they can have eyes to see and ears to hear. Because the Israelites are in captivity, they are no longer able to carry out some of their traditions. The Most High is aware of this and that is why your body has become the temple that housed the Spirit of the Most High. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. The scriptures never said the buildings, the synagogue of Satan referred to as the church, would house the Spirit of the Most High. The Most High placed his Spirit in his people that are made in his image and likeness. The Most High created the human species. Therefore, his spirit can live in his people because his people were created with his own hands. The Israelites now have the spirit of the Most High dwelling within. They no longer need the temple. The Most High said he would write his laws into his people's hearts and minds. The Israelites 
no longer must teach each other because they all would know the most high via his spirit with the new covenant. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord. But they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. The Israelites are all over the world and the spirit of the Most High connect his people together. Israelites, that is why you must know the Holy Spirit and understand the purpose of the spirit of the Most High. Your body is not serving as the temple that housed the Holy Spirit for no reason. That is why you must interact with the Holy Spirit. If the Israelites understood the importance of interacting with the Holy Spirit and knowing how the Spirit of the Most High operate, they would be commanding their destiny. The workers of iniquity would no longer be able to deceive the indigenous black people via religion. Satan know the importance of the Holy Spirit. That is why he imitate the Spirit of the Most High by using familiar spirits. The Most High has the Holy Spirit. Satan has familiar spirits imitating the Spirit of the Most High in religion. Satan know that the workers of iniquity cannot receive the Spirit of the Most High and follow him. Therefore, Satan used familiar spirits to deceive the sheep. The workers of iniquity represents the kingdom of darkness in the beast system. They can never receive the Holy Spirit. The scripture said they don't know the Holy Spirit. If the high level workers of iniquity do not know the spirit of the most high, how can they minister to you? Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Israelites, if today's pastors and religious leaders follow the blueprint of the church that is controlled by the heathen's governments, this conclude they represent the kingdom of darkness. The scriptures made it known that the people who serve the beast culture cannot receive the spirit of the Most High. How can they teach the word? Sin is transgressing the laws of the Most High. The pastors and religious leaders in the church culture teach that the laws are done away with. The Holy Spirit is not the one telling these pastors that the laws of the Most High is done away with. The Holy Spirit only speak on what it has heard from the Most High. Nobody know the thoughts of the Most High except his spirit. For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. According to the scriptures, nobody knows the thoughts of the Most High except his spirit. You must have the Holy Spirit to know the affairs of the Most High. How are the teachers in the heathens, Bible colleges decoding the scriptures that are sealed? The other species of mankind have controlled the church for multiple generations. The indigenous black people have been indoctrinated by the other species of mankind. What spirit is speaking through these people? The Holy Spirit is not speaking through the workers of iniquity, but familiar spirits are speaking through them. The religious leaders and pastors have no connection to the Most High when they teach what is contrary to the words of the Most High. Your pastors and religious leaders must obey the Most High to have his spirit. The scriptures made it known that the heathens sacrifice to devils and the Most High do not want his people to fellowship with devils. The workers of iniquity in the beast system serve the kingdom of darkness. And we are his witnesses of these things and so is also the Holy Ghost whom God hath given to them that obey him. The role of the Holy Spirit is to help the people of the Most High in all things. We are living in the information age. Over 90% of the world's population rely on AIs. Some use Siri, while others use Google. When you are looking for a quick answer, many turn to their built-in AI on their phones and computers. The AI will assist the people to find the answers they are looking for. The Holy Spirit is like a built-in AI for the people of the Most High. Everything you need to know, the Holy Spirit will reveal it to you. The Holy Spirit is responsible to guide you, speak on your behalf, tell you the truth, and reveal prophecies to you. When it comes to spiritual warfare, the Holy Spirit becomes the fire of the Most High. The Holy Spirit even pray and intercede on your behalf. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, 
for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. The Holy Spirit is a big deal in the lives of the righteous. Once the Israelites utilize the help they have in the Holy Spirit, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. The scriptures reveal when you receive the Holy Spirit, you obtain power. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. The Most High said he has given his people power over the entire kingdom of darkness. What Satan have done in religion is close your ears to the Holy Spirit and turn up the volume to the unclean spirits that deceive you daily. Many people mistake the interactions with unclean foul spirits for the Holy Spirit. The unclean spirits tell you half truth to deceive you. A good example is the familiar spirit that took on the likeness of Samuel that deceived King Saul when he seek the woman with a familiar spirit at Endor. And said the woman, Whom shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, Bring me up Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice, and the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid. For what sawest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. And he said unto her, What form is he of? And she said, An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel, and he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. The scripture said Saul perceived that it was Samuel. The scriptures did not say it was Samuel. I am here to tell you that was a familiar spirit. Until this day, so many people in the awakening and in the church believe the familiar spirit that took on the likeness of Samuel was Samuel speaking to Saul. Familiar spirits can convince you of anything if you're not careful. This is why you must have the Holy Spirit to tell you the truth. The scriptures clearly state the woman at Endor had a familiar spirit. The Most High said to his people, Never seek a person with a familiar spirit because they would defile you. Somehow, because this story is in the scriptures, many people believe that was Samuel. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. So Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it, and inquired not of the Lord. Therefore he slew him, and turned the kingdom unto David, the son of Jesse. Israelites, familiar spirits will disguise themselves as your dead relatives or people you know in the spirit realm. For those of you who are unaware, the spirit realm is your dream life. Familiar spirits are wicked spirits that travel in your bloodline. Because they have been in your bloodline, they are familiar with you. That is how they deceive you when they begin to tell you about your life. Fortune tellers use familiar spirits. False prophets use familiar spirits in the church to prophesy lies. What many people perceive to be the Holy Spirit in their pastors are familiar spirits. All the feel-good doctrines you are hearing in the church are coming from familiar spirits, some of you know as the Holy Ghost. Remember, Satan deceived the whole world. Everything the Most High has done and prophesied to do, Satan has a counterfeit. The Most High has a chosen group of people. Satan has a chosen group of people. The Most High sent a Messiah. Satan sent a Messiah. I am come in my Father's name and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Satan's imitations is known as duality. Familiar spirits and monitoring spirits travel together. Monitoring spirits often show up in the form of animals in the physical realm. The workers of iniquity would send the monitoring spirits in the form of birds, squirrels, cats, bees, mouse, any animal to monitor you. 
the monitoring spirits report back to the workers of iniquity of your whereabouts and what is happening in your life. The high level workers of iniquity use the information to curse you. For those in the church, they use the information to tell you about your life, to deceive you. Israelites, ask the Most High to strike every monitoring spirit with blindness. Remember, we wrestle not with flesh and blood. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The only way Satan can detour you from the Holy Spirit is through sin. Once you're in sin, you lose the protection of the Most High. Remember, sin separates you from the Most High. When the people are separated from their Elohim, they become prey to the kingdom of darkness. Not only does familiar spirits give you insight about a person's life, the scripture said towards the last days, the false prophets will perform great signs and wonders. It is the unclean spirits in them that do these things. Don't be deceived by their miracles. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. The scriptures reveal to us how the workers of iniquity imitate the miracles the Most High did using Moses and Aaron. When you see your pastors and religious leaders performing great miracles and wonders in Jesus' name, know that there is no power in that name. Behind the scenes, familiar spirits are doing these great signs and wonders. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh, and before his servants, and became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt they also did in like manner with their enchantments, for they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. Do not fall for Satan's imitations of the Most High's affairs. The Holy Spirit will reveal all truth to you. The people of the Most High do not have a ghost living in them. The Most High never said he would place his ghosts into his people. He said, Spirit. The people of the Most High should not follow any ghosts. The beast system depict a ghost as an unclean spirit that haunt people. Describing the spirit of the Most High as a ghost is offensive. The Most High is a spirit according to the scriptures. Nowhere in the scriptures does it describe the Most High as a ghost nor his spirit. Be careful, Israelites. You don't want to forge covenants with a so-called holy ghost. How can a ghost be holy? God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. When we begin to decode the scriptures in the awakening via the spirit of the Most High operating in his people, the other species of mankind make up the excuse that we are twisting the scriptures. The serpent seed know what their fathers have done. They cannot comprehend how we are decoding the scriptures despite of them altering the scriptures. The synagogue of Satan insert their images into the scriptures to cause confusion. In addition, changing history to make them superior, we are still finding the truth. That is because the Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth and will reveal to us the things to come. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Without a connection to the Most High, you can't discern spiritual things. The serpent seed and all who follow them in the beast system cannot see the secret things hidden in the scriptures. They can only see what they read. They cannot dive deep because they do not have the Holy Spirit to reveal what is hidden. When the other species of mankind come to our channels and listen to our teachings, they believe our understanding is foolishness. The affairs of the Most High is foolishness to those who are perishing. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. The Holy Spirit will guide the righteous to operate in the will of the Most High. When the people of the Most High are operating in the will of their Elohim, the Most High will fight for them. 
When your enemy gather against you, they will surely fall. Throughout the scriptures, the Most High desire for his people to abide in him. When you are following his instructions via the Spirit of the Most High, that puts you in a position to receive the favor of the Most High. When the Most High is for you, who can be against you? What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Israelites, the Most High has the Holy Spirit. Only the Holy Spirit can reveal the thoughts of the Most High. Do not believe the many voices speaking to you, trying to pull you away from the Most High. Get to know the voice of the Most High so that you're not deceived by the strange voices. Satan used familiar spirits to imitate the Holy Spirit in the church culture. Ask the Most High to give you eyes to see the deception. The Holy Spirit is essential in your life. Israelites, make sure you are being guided by the Spirit of the Most High. And the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwelling.